My father, Derek Morgan, is a pervert. It's Malta Massey bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Queen Ifrika brother speaks out amidst his father's rape allegation. Stay tuned for the stories in detail. And remember to follow me on Instagram at Malta underscore Massey. Yeah. Upcoming artist Dazzle Dawn is putting on a party massive today, today, August 26th. Him say it not gonna normal. Here are the details. Boom! You know the badness, you know Iceberg, I represent for Dazzled and Music. Alongside C-Squad Promotion presents a night call. Them say big money popping all, now me no see. Me no see no pens, me no see no be my Jeep. Hear me I say no man, August 26, man. So blue, Nick, you know, and 920 Walcott Street, Waterbury, Connecticut, I get thick way. A crazy shellings, no tellings, I think a trappings. You know, a whole heap of bad select up on the ground, a shelly down. Hosted by Tina Turner. You know, dazzled and in a place, I shake it. Marvin the Beast alongside me, Iceberg. So, you are going pull up and make the place full up at event. Think of chattings. Queen Ifrika went live on her Instagram page. And during this live massive, believe me, a lot of you, if you haven't heard the news as yet, on a jar, I got dropped to the floor. Yes, she is saying that her father, Derek Morgan, Skia Legend, her anyway as massive hear it from her mouth yourself i've always wanted to meet my father i've always wanted to meet my father my mother never wanted to meet him want me to meet him because she was so angry with him she hated him so much because of how he, he treated her and I became the victim of that. I became the victim of that. The victim of the hatred between my mother and, and my father ended up on my shoulder. I had to deal with her hatred for him based on how she would deal with me. See? But I still love my mother and I never diss my mother yet. No matter what my mother do me, I never diss her yet. Saying, I always love my mother up until the day she died. I forgive her for everything before she died. That's why I could rest in my heart. Saying, when I wanted her to take me to meet Derek Morgan, she never wanted me to. She never wanted to take me. So I had to find a way to go and meet him for myself at a stage show in in downtown. And when I met him, I went to him hotel and I asked him why he neglect me over all these years. Seeing? And him just said he did married and have children and him couldn't make him wife no say he did a deal with them something there. So that's why they tell me mother fear about me. Because they tell me mother fear about me. Saying so, see me up on the back of the field for the most high because she never about me. Saying after me meet him, I start get to know him, you know, because at the first, me I have a father figure in my life, and then at the great Derek Morgan. A the great skill legend column of the music column is him sing the first independent song for Jamaica. That's why we need to crash independence. We need to we need to we need to we need to make them know say right now we are change around independence. Cause it never benefit we. After me start 
link up with him and him come when him come Jamaica, I link him up and thing and you don't know me I get to know my father. When me never have before. And my grandfather was my father. And when him dead, me never have no father left. You see me? So I start link up with my father and I start I love my father call me and say, you know. See me and now, I have a father. And one day, Greenwich Farm, 9th Street, I went to visit him. When he was in Jamaica on one of them visits. Went to him house over Greenwich Farm, 9th Street. And I did there with him the day and I end up spending the whole day with him because I don't know I'm a father. And I get to know him. And the the till in the hours in the night cause them time them meet Tony Rebel them time them meet Tony Rebel but me and him never did start going on the dealings or none of them kind of something there yet. and the night the day I'm dead with my father and the hours come down, and I'm supposed to take a taxi to come up in Bukal. And he looked at me and he said, Nah, man, you might go down, you're too late, stay. It's too late, man, stay. You better you stay and go in the morning. Remember now, I'm a father, don't. So, if I'm a father, I say, Bill, me a bill, don't. And they there and you know, once and once pass through and them leave and thing and you know the hours now, like you know, I one room and a one bed. So in the hours I go to bed. I go lay down upon the bed. The father never go to bed, never ready to go to bed yet. And the next thing I wake up to in the hours is with, with my father, I penetrate me. I wake up in the hours to my father trying to penetrate me. Seriously. Hold me down in the bed. I have sex with me and tell me, say, And tell me, say, him wife now have no sex with him, so. He must do it with me. No one understand daddy don't touch me there. I'm gonna tell on you one day, I swear. Can't you see I'm scared you're supposed to be my father though? My life has been a hell since that moment. And from that moment, I begin to fight for myself because I have to say, yo, if me drop, too much I go drop with me. So I have to hold it down. So I hold it for the sake of everything and everyone. I've been holding it for the sake of everything and everyone. When are we going to break this generational curse of incest in our family? 
and continue to re-victimize the people them who go through the darkest things them. Who no not dead when them things they are happen. Who no not dead when them things they are happen. That's why when you go into the church, the man take where the church them from we. Because of the church them we used to turn to. When we never have no way to turn. So no take the church. And when we go in a Rasta house and think say Rasta house was the place of safety. My stepfather raped three days. My stepfather, I am Ashley Iron. Seeing drugs me and raped me for three days straight. Unconscious. Are we going to still sit down here in this country and hear story after story after story after story about the many dark and dirty things we are up on this island and continue to turn a blind eye same way? After Queen Ifrika uploaded the video to her Instagram page, the comments in her comment section, they were mixed. Some persons were showing her support, others admired her bravery, but there was this particular person who claims that he is her brother. His name is Courtney Morgan. This is what he had to say. Except she was never violated by my father. I don't know why she keeps saying that. She never grew up with my dad. My dad met her as a woman with two children. When she met my dad, he was already almost 100% blind with neurological issues that impaired his movements. Remember, she also said she was raped by her stepfather, several women, and other family members. That's a lot of for a grown woman. Someone responded to that comment by tagging him and saying, that's a lot of pin for a grown woman. I understand wanting to defend your father, but don't make ignorant and don't write stupid comments like that. It is quite common for victims to be victimized more than once by more than one perpetrator. Predators know who to target. Her brother came back and tagged someone. He said, think about it. She said her stepdad and other women raped her. She met my dad after those traumatic events as an adult with two kids. My dad can't see or walk. So after all those traumatic events, you end up in bed with my dad and his friend who slept head to toe on the bed. My dad have never been accused or did any such atrocities to anybody but I freak out that some delusional crap. Then she came to my sister the other day and said she was molested by my nephew in his bed that she was sleeping in. If you know anything about psychiatric patients, you will understand exactly what I'm saying. Someone responded to him and said, if you know anything about sexual assault victims and the way sexual predators work, you would understand what I'm saying. Just because someone was never accused, it doesn't mean they never committed an act. This is especially true when we talk about sexual violence. Most victims never come forward. Someone tagged her brother and said, I believe her. Her brother responded to that person by saying, you need to believe her for all her other too. Her stepdad, several women, other family members. These are all the things she said happened to her. You need to learn about human behavior that are psychologically impaired. Imagine someone accusing you of atrocities you never committed. Person come back and say, yes, she's telling the truth. The brother responded, yes, her truth, not the truth. The brother left another comment. It reads, but I hate when people lie to complete their agenda. That's what Ifrika is doing. Also, a sexual predator has repeated events. Not one event. My dad has many daughters that grew up with him. She never knew my dad. She literally met him about three times since meeting him as an adult. He's partially paralyzed from waist down and totally blind by the time she first met him. For him to do what she alleged, she literally have to pick up his private part to insert into her. She is delusional and needs to stop with her antics. Somebody come and tag the brother and say, you were never blessed by your dad. 
please feel free to speak for yourself. You have also never been a psychiatric patient. Much respect to you and your family members. I think you should sit this one out though. The brother come back and say, you know that's my sister, right? It is my business to be involved because I actually know what went on in her life and her mental issues. I've been dealing with this with her for years. I'm not the one to be sitting it out. Everybody else does. She has been becoming a loose cannon for a while. Everyone in the family been trying to talk to her. And I'm not just talking about what she said about my father, but a lot of other things too. By the way, I'm a medical doctor and I have dealt with many psychiatric patients and their illnesses. The girl come back and say, thus me saying sit this one out. This particular utterance, we may have the best intentions for our loved ones. However, it's her trauma you can only speak for yourself you never touched her there is such much one can never know even about the ones we hold dear to us and respect let god be the judge for her and her dad the brother come back and say are you mentally challenged too you people are surely judgmental you should concentrate on your own family with its own problems you're sick to even make any type of comments I understand, but my dad is blind and partially paralyzed for years, even before he met her. I cannot sit back and have her demonize him in his old age after building such a prestigious career and doing so much for many people throughout his life. I just can't allow her lies to propagate without being checked. He continued by saying she's crying out for help, but she refuses to listen. You guys don't know how many people reached out to her. Her creating lies doesn't help her and you guys are encouraging her lies. Shake my head. Somebody come and tag the brother and say all more reason for him to rape her because he never looked at her as a daughter. Some men who are rapists will rape everyone, but their kids they raised. So stop turning a blind eye to what her truth is and don't be ignorant. You may not know that side of your father, but she does. Her brother responded to that person by saying, you are out of line. Watch your words. They could get you in trouble. You can't get out of. Don't be an obtuse individual. You need to sit out of people business. It's hard communicating with illiterate people. There you have it, Massive. You've heard Queen Ifrika's side as well as her brother's side of the story. So that's it for today, Massive Montana. Big up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey, Magan. Mount Massey. Mount Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like. Share, comment, and subscribe now. now.